Hey guys, how you doing? It's day four of the Purple Cow Arts and Crafts Advent Calendar. <laughs> Let's see what we've got today. I'm not going to lie, I've been super excited about day four, because look how big it is. <laughs> I know you're not supposed to judge things by the size of the box, but <gasps> I totally am. <laughs> okay, let's tie this away and see what we have inside. Okay, let's see if we can guess the craft by what's in the box. Oh, we've got more fishing wire. <laughs> It feels like a staple now. Uh, we have yarn, red yarn. Mm. We have polystyrene. And two more. Oh, my goodness. Oh, dear. Okay, we have more pins. I'll have to make a, a pincushion at this rate, won't I? And we've got the deadly glitter. <laughs> and I remember from before it said that we would also need this star cutout from day one. So let's look in the book and see if we can work out what it is we're doing. Okay guys, here we are. We're making a wrapped yarn ornament. And I can already foresee this one being a disaster looking at the materials list. So the materials we had in the box was the star cookie cutter from day one. Yarn, styrofoam square, sewing pins, fishing string, and glitter. Some extra stuff you will need. White glue. I do not have white glue. <laughs> white glue is integral to this craft working. Pen, scissors, small plastic bowl, plastic fork and a flat knife okay guys so first things first <laughs> we're going to draw the star outline on the styrofoam oh that's a noise <laughs> oh <laughs> oh gosh do you have any noises ah. <laughs> that really make you grit your teeth? I mean, I didn't know this was a noise that made me grit my teeth, but we found one. Okay, so we've got the star outline. <laughs> Next, we're going to use the pins to recreate the outline. What we're going to do, we're not going to put them completely in, we're just going to put them in a little bit so they still stick up so that you can wrap the yarn around them later. So I'm starting by putting a pin in each of the points of the star and then the inside points of the star. Then I'll put any remaining pins along the lines. I would recommend that you put a protective uh, layer, like paper or maybe some extra foam, underneath the polystyrene, just so that you don't damage the surface you're working on. Right, so the next step, is where you would, oh boy, <laughs> put your glue soaked yarn around the pins to make a pattern. I don't have any glue to soak the yarn in, but you know, we'll, we'll do it. We're gonna give this a go anyway. And uh, first things first, we wanna, make the, the shape of the outline of the, the star. Right, so we have made the star outline. Now they say to basically just go across 
various pins and wrap around uh, like this. soaked string down as far as it'll go <laughs> then you sprinkle on your glitter to stick to the glue <laughs> then you'd wait for 24 hours for it to dry so let's pretend we've had 24 hours hi ah, it's been 24 hours now we're going to remove the pins and we're going to have a beautiful star to hang on our tree. It's great! <laughs> I'm so impressed! Now we can add the fishing line to it. Okay, well anyway, yes, so uh, <laughs> shall we review this make? <laughs> value for money they give you <sighs> I'm dying inside value for money well they give you more than enough pins which is nice and styrofoam you've got the cookie cutter and... this craft would use up a lot of time if you had all the items to do it properly so uh... I guess I still have to give it five for value. No, I'm not giving it five for value for money though. Because if you don't have the extra items, this is what you end up with. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm giving it free and that's being generous. Because of the next point, completeness of the kit. If you don't have the glue, you cannot make this kit. With the previous items, you could substitute things out and still be able to make something. Like with the fish in the bag yesterday, I didn't have the bag, but I could still make the fish. Um, if you don't have the glue, this just completely fails. Uh, so I'm afraid we're, uh, for completeness of kit, this is a big fat one out of five. Because you can't make it if you don't have the extra items. Finally, dexterity. How fine a motor skills do you need to make this project? Not only do you need very fine motor skills, but you need the patience of a saint. <laughs> I'm trying to think if the glue would have made any difference whatsoever in making this project any easier to do. And quite frankly, I think the only difference it would have made is the string would have been stickier and it would have stuck to more things, including yourself. Um, I'm giving it a five out of five because it would be incredibly difficult with or without the glue. Well, this was our first big fail. I hope at least it was entertaining. Um, <laughs> thank you for making it to the end of the video with me. Do you have any tips on how I could have done better or what I could have used instead of white glue? If you could like, subscribe, turn on all notifications and share this video, that would be amazing. You can follow me at Enchanted Violin on Instagram, TikTok and Freds. Links will be in the description box below. As well as links to my online comic companions and my Patreon. And I'll see you tomorrow for day five, uh, which hopefully we can do. <laughs> Bye.